Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So we, uh, yeah, I say that with a lot of enthusiasm because uh, we're in season four, and that was an awesome episode one. So we are in this um, this house. I, I was originally going to, this is a house on, I think, Jackrabbit Island, Misanthrope. Misanthrope's homestead is the next island over. Originally, in the last episode, I was intending to, I don't remember if I vocalized this, I was intending to go up and, let me not waste too much lantern fuel here, can I rest? I was intending to go up and go all the way up the Cattail River, go ahead and grab some of those. Oh good, I can rest for an hour. It's dawn, so I just want to get a little bit of extra daylight and rest. Um, but I was going to go up the Cattail River all the way to the, the kind of cabin at the top and explore the top area of the zone right away but then I thought about it I was like you know what I don't think I have a crowbar yet and actually let's double check that because I can't now I'm just not quite sure yeah I don't have a crowbar yet so instead what we're going to do is we are going to head for an area of the zone that is more likely to give me a crowbar because the reason I need a crowbar is in that cabin that I wanted to visit there are a couple of lockers and if one of them is locked then I don't want to have to make a return trip later so I'm just kind of strategizing and trying to limit the amount of times I visit um kind of satellite areas that are tough to get to. We're, I mean, we're playing on starker difficulty, nothing... Oh, hi. Uh, oh, alrighty then. Well, while well, we're out here. <laughs> Didn't sound like it was that bad, but I suppose it is pretty bad. Let's see, what are we looking at? Oh, yeah. Totally bad. This is... It doesn't sound like a blizzard, but it's totally a blizzard. Let's harvest these two, since we're here. And I'm, I'm going to have to come back inside and, and pass some time. I can't remember if I've grabbed any books already. If I do have books, then I can read those, because we got some daylight now. But we're going to be stuck here for a bit. Doesn't sound like a normal blizzard outside. This is it's weird. All right. Do I have any books? I can't recall. I don't remember picking up any books yet. Yeah, we're just going to have to pass some time the old-fashioned way. Also, I have a lot of antiseptic, and I don't really need it. So I think when I, when I get to the central area here, which we're going to try and do in this episode, and I'm sure we'll get there, um, I'm going to drop some of my supplies and start doing some inventory management. Start building a, a home base already. Since we're already in Coastal Highway, we can we can establish our base right away. In the past, we've had to go from Mystery Lake, you know. In the past, against all odds seasons, except for the Season 3, which was Interloper, so we couldn't control our start location there either. Uh, in the past, what we would do is start... Uh, we would do a traditional long dark start in Mystery Lake. And now we don't have to worry about that as much. Okay, so I'm just going to have to pass the time here. Okay, the wind just went away. That's a little bit better. Let's head outside. Actually, before we do that, though, let's sort by weight here. Yeah, we've got lots of water. Let me go ahead and drink the Summit Soda, because we can use the calories. And then to top off my thirst, I'll drink some of this water, and it should also reduce our burden a little bit. This isn't necessarily a stalker tip, but one of the most... You know, one of the things you need to keep it, your eye on the most in terms of um, inventory management is just how much water you have. Because you need to have water, you need to have large quantities of water most of the time. Uh, but at the same time, just understand that water's heavy. Carrying it around is, is not a... Um, it is not something that is... It's, it's easier said than done, let's put it that way. Oh, old man's beard. Okay, so this reminds me of something that, that we got into a discussion about in the comments. There's a wolf there, I need to be careful. But let me let me check something out here since we're out. We do, it's probably still pretty cold. Yeah, it's negative 14 still. So the blizzard is still technically going. It's just not quite as bad, so we can't be out here forever. But um, let me take a step. Let me pick up this stick. Another stick. It's good to have a minimum, especially if you're playing on stalker interloper difficulty. It's good to have a minimum of uh, 15 sticks or so with you at all times. Because 15 sticks is what you need in order to create a um, shelter, but a snow shelter. But we, I want to take a look at the um, the old man's beard situation in a second, and I'll finish that thought as far as that common exchange in a moment. Those of you who are members of that common exchange, you already know where I'm going with this. I'm going to address my own curiosity, because apparently there was a change that happened in this latest patch that I was not aware of. So it's new to me. I want to harvest as much of this stuff as I can while I'm seeing it. But okay, so there's some wolves. Surprisingly enough, um, we are, yeah, we're nearing the bottom of our cold meter, but we're not losing condition due to being cold yet. So if we keep moving, we might be able to get over to the next island without suffering too much. Which is always a plus. Alright, so we're going to make a pit stop in this hut really quickly. 
Okay, so that's... Alright, there's Misanthrope's homestead. I appreciate the warm response, by the way, to episode one of, uh, of Against All Odds Season 4. It's always a pleasure to start a new run in this, and I think it, it feels, it honestly feels good to be back. Oh, they, look, they changed the texture on this. This is cool. I haven't seen one of these because I've been playing in Interloper a lot, but there's a rifle cleaning kit. Um, but yeah, since I'm playing in Stalker again, it just, it feels like I'm back to the series what proper in a lot of ways. More. Okay, there's a, I've never found a stone in a cabinet before. That's a new thing. New thing to me, anyway. Okay, ice fishing hole. We're not gonna, we don't need to do any fishing just yet. Okay, there it is. Hypothermia risk. Let's get inside. Hang on. Before I make any quick movements, let me just make sure there's no wildlife nearby. God damn, it's freezing. Yep. Ah, missed him. Alright, we'll get another one later. That was mainly just a practice throw. So when you're throwing with stones, now that this has been added, I've found that it's pretty good. You, you, you still have to master the arc a little bit, but watch where this stone hits. It's more or less, if you see where the, the thumb went when it went back up, it's more or less the knuckle or right above the main knuckle of the thumb. So that's kind of where you want to aim where you when you're trying to hit a rabbit. I've had a lot of success using that particular method. So for those of you, whether you are new to the long dark or just new to Faithful Cartographer, that is what I recommend thus far. Check the comments if anyone has any additional tips. I'm sure they'll be... I'm sure they'll be happy to chime in. Because they're totally welcome to. How's my condition? 95? Good. Didn't lose too much condition due to the cold. Misanthrope's homestead. Alright, we've got lots of natural light. Hey, wood matches. Not that I need them, because I got me a fire striker, but it's always good to have some backup matches. There's that flare. Very, very common spawn there. Whenever you come into this house, you'll, you'll see a flare underneath. I think I mentioned that in episode 1, actually, come to think of it. Or maybe in, at some point in the uh, Interloper miniseries, but yeah. There are certain spawns that are very, very reliable, and a flare being there under that couch when you come into a house with this interior is highly common in the loot tables. The percent chance of it spawning is probably, I, I would imagine, 90 plus. There's a storm lantern, which I can break down for some additional fuel. There's also some, uh, you know, I haven't been breaking down curtains too much, so I need to make sure I stay on that, because having the cloth is just as important for the snow shelter as anything else, but also just cloth to repair my stuff, which I've been saying I want to do. So maybe we'll do that while we're here. Maybe I even said I was going to do it at the previous house, and that's fine. I've had I've taken a little bit of a break in between recording and editing episode one and beginning episode two, but now we're just into the series proper, so it's easier to record a number of series in advance, or uh, record a number of episodes together in, in advance. Let's see. All right, there's a can opener. We've already got a can opener. Cardboard matches. Pinnacle peaches. New pinnacle peaches, in fact. Good condition. Cup of herbal tea. That'll be good when we need to rest. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these curtains down. Hypothermia risk is gone. And what we're going to do is... Uh, I can't remember if I found a sewing kit yet. I think I have. We'll check in just a second. But Actually, no, I haven't. I've, I've got a hook, so I can... I believe I can still use that. But I'm still going to break down some curtains here, and then after this we're going to head straight across to the Quonset area. And I don't know if we're going to set up a base camp in our typical area, or if we're going to set up in the, the Quonset this time. I kind of want to go for Quonset. The, the, the reason I don't typically do that uh, in this series, and in the Long Dark, is that the Quonset can be kind of surrounded by wolves at times, and Stalker is particularly replete with wolves, so I try not to tempt fate in that regard. Remember what I said in episode one, in stalker difficulty, wolves are more numerous but less deadly, whereas in interloper, they're less numerous but more deadly. Okay, nice, some wool socks. Let's go ahead and put these on. There's a book. 
which you can use for fire starting. So fire starting. Wow, more wool socks. So we're officially encumbered, but again, we're about, we're about to in this episode before long, we're going to be unloading some stuff. I'm just hoping to find some additional good gear. This stuff will come in handy. There's a new hoodie. Perhaps to replace our... Yeah, let's go ahead and put that in place there. And what we can do is break down the old one. Let's harvest it for cloth. That'll free up a little bit of burden. It's about noon. Okay, I need to start repairing stuff pretty soon. I really do. But I can't remember also... Yeah, we need to go ahead and repair our clothing, I think. Hang on, let me just make sure there's nothing here. There's a Summit Soda. I'm probably going to pick that up and just drink it outright. Running shoes under the sink. Can't remember the last time I found running shoes there, but hey. All right, any, more antiseptic. Yeah, we're definitely playing, definitely playing stalker difficulty again. All right, here's some water. Rip up this towel, and now I, if I can repair, I will, but typically if we have, yeah, we can't, we need a sewing kit, we can't use the, um, well, actually, wait, 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 hang on, Let, let's, let's address a couple of questions really quickly, let's pull up the journal, let's go over to crafting, because this is where you craft stuff now, once the game loads it up, actually, there we go, so old man's beard wound dressing, um, so this, it says, apply to wounds to help prevent infection. It's no longer, yeah, the icon has changed. This is no longer an actual bandage. This is what I wanted to investigate. So let's go ahead and craft this. These could be handy to have instead of carrying around antiseptic. Because antiseptic is freaking heavy. Now, Old Man's Beard Wound Dressing used to be a bandage and antiseptic in one. This is what we were talking about, but evidently it's not anymore. So you still have to have bandages, regardless, which you can make with cloth. And as a matter of fact, we can make some now if we wanted to. So we've got plenty of cloth. We actually have 15 exactly. All we need is five and 15 sticks for the, um, so I'm gonna make five bandages really quickly. Oh, we actually made two with that. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just, I forgot that when you craft bandages, you get two for each one piece of cloth, which is nice. Makes sense too. All right, so fishing tackle. This is what I wanted to mess with. Let's see if fishing tackle will let me repair. We also need to eat. So let's do that really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and eat these pinnacle peaches first. Yeah, we're actually pretty encumbered, 81.86. Which is one of the reasons that I am eating the heaviest item first. Let's also go ahead and eat these um, this dog food. Same reason. And I might as well go ahead and eat the pork and beans too. They're 36% condition, I need to eat them pretty soon. So yeah, fun fact, Old Man's Beard no longer provides a wound dressing. It's just a, a, a natural, renewable kind of antiseptic from the environment. All right, so there's that. So now our hunger should be much, much better. How are we doing? Yeah, a lot better. 1792. All right, so can we repair? Yes, we can. All right. So let's start with our headgear. We're just going to go top down. If we need to get more cloth from around the house, we can. This is going to take some time. Repairing is, is not a, a quick process, unfortunately. But I want to repair all my items, including the ones I'm not wearing, because I've got access to plenty of cloth. And I really want to see what some of my best options are with my headgear, as far as combinations and such. Okay, we're almost out of daylight already. Having pretty good luck with repairs so far. Up, oh, <laughs> shouldn't miss anything. The moment I finish that sentence. Of course. All right, we're, oh, wow. All right, so now we're out of daylight. We can't do any more repairs. But, yeah, so this probably, I would imagine, is not going to be... Yeah, the new cotton scarf is not as good as the cotton toque because it has no wind protection. So what we're going to do is harvest this. Better just to have the two toques, and we are going to need to drink pretty quick. We're not losing condition yet from being thirsty, but we are right there on the cusp. Now, drinking this much water before bed, this is going to significantly reduce our burden because we're going to get thirsty overnight. All right, let's actually take a quick look. Yeah, I could go ahead and sleep, but actually seems like I still have some light right now, so let's see what we can continue to do. 
Let me try and repair this. Maybe it'll let me. There we go. Alright, so now that we've got the thin wool sweater repaired, how does it compare to some of the other items? Yeah, see, this thing has better wind protection on the outside. Interesting. So putting this on the outside does give me better wind protection if I, if I were to wear this instead of the hoodie. But then, then again, I'm wearing the pea coat over every, all of that, so it doesn't matter. Wind protection doesn't count if you've got an item over it, so I need to go for the item with the most warmth. So this is also lower condition, so I might actually... I think I should probably still try and repair this. Let's see what, if, what we can get away with here. Okay, there. We're completely in the dark now. So I guess let's just go ahead and sleep now. I'll tell you what, before I try and sleep for that long, let's top our, our thirst off. And our hunger should be okay, even if it's not. It's not going to drag our condition down too fast. Fun survival tip, hunger, um, when, when it hits the red, when you actually have, when you're losing condition due to hunger, it's pretty slow, as you would expect, you know, similar to real life. Hunger kills you slowly, whereas thirst kills you quickly. You can survive weeks without food, you can survive days without water. Okay, so the sun's about to rise. Can I sleep for one more hour? No. I guess I'll just pass time. Okay. Let's go ahead and drink. Again, very, very good that we had to drink so much water right then because we had a lot of food on us. Or a lot of weight on us. So now let's take a look at what we need to do here. Let's repair this thing up. Because I'm not entirely convinced that this isn't something we should be wearing. Yeah, see, it has a better warmth bonus. Maybe not much better, but it is it is better. And then what about the wool item? Okay, I need to repair this thing, because this is also something I need to consider wearing. Okay, so there goes our fishing tackle. Do I have another hook in line? I think I do. Yeah, I do. Perfect. So, let's pull the journal back up, go back to crafting. Let's make us another one. You've got food. I'll feed you now. Still eating from the heaviest... I've got everything sorted by weight, and I'm eating the heaviest items first. Those also happen to have pretty high caloric value. Go ahead and eat this too. Now, I could be cooking all this food, I know, but it's not my concern for now. I'm focused on my clothes. I will start leveling up our cooking skill soon. But for now, I just, I'm trying to keep my condition up while doing all this other work. Yeah, so let's go ahead and repair this up to 100% so I can see its full capacity. And then we'll see what, what our best options are. Yeah, see, this is actually better. It's actually, no, it's actually identical to the thin wool sweater. So it might be best just to go ahead and wear this. Yeah. There we go. And then instead of this, what would I... No, I think that makes the most sense. So now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and repair the peacoat. It takes two cloth to repair this thing, and now we're out of cloth because of that. We can fix that, though. So we've actually been in here for a good bit. Been hanging out here for already, I think, an entire day. Just repairing our clothes, getting ready to do a little bit more exploration. It, with this peacoat in better shape, we'll have some pretty good protection against the elements for the beginning. We also need to repair our pants. We still haven't even gotten there. Okay, we're officially thirsty. This is the downside, I guess, of finding so many items in the first episode. It's just that we need to take a second to figure out what we're going to do. All right, let's go ahead and repair these these gloves. I, I don't think I'm going to repair these to all the way to 100%, but I want them a little bit better. All right, now, yeah, we totally need the outer layer here. Repair that, but we don't have any more cloth. All right, so tell you what. Let's see. We're at the end of the day. 
I'm going to go ahead and tear these curtains down so I can have more cloth. And we are going to sleep here. But then we're going to head... Before I do any more clothing repair, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with the work I've done so far. So, hang on, let's get these curtains too. Man, I could eat anything. So I'm going to go... As I said I was going to, we're going to go to the Quonset and see if we can find additional tools. Maybe a hacksaw, definitely a pry bar I'm looking for. Also, I just remembered... Hang on, let's sort by weight so we can see all the heaviest stuff. We have a second, um, yeah, we don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and just harvest this. Get some scrap metal, and we'll also, whenever you harvest a lantern, you'll get the fuel out of it automatically. So there's that. Let's refuel. Fill this thing all the way up. No lamp oil available, so we used everything we had there. Not bad. All right, yeah, we're carrying a lot on us right now, but less than when we got here. So now let's continue eating our heaviest stuff. We've got some sodas here. Sodas actually are pretty heavy in and of themselves. All right, and then last but not least, well, no, I'm not going to drink the tea just yet because we don't have that much condition to recover, so I don't want it. I feel like the tea would almost speed up our sleep. I don't know if it has that effect or not, but I'm just trying to be cautious here. So let's go ahead and sleep for... I don't think... It's not going to let us sleep for 10 hours. It's not. It'll wake us up a couple hours before dawn. You woke up fully rested. Yeah, I know. So what time is it? Yeah, a couple hours before dawn. So let's go ahead and head out. I think we're, I think we're in good shape. I'm going to drink this soda. And then I'm going to drink this water. And then encumbrance wise, we're not going to be that slowed down. We need to head for the Quonset. Now again, we're going to be, we're going to be cold, but I think we can manage. Let me go ahead and take the lantern out. We're going to look around one last time just to make sure I didn't forget anything while I was here. For those of you who are new to the channel, I typically do about 25 to 30 minute episodes. I'm going to let this one run a little bit long because I know I've been doing so much maintenance stuff in the beginning. I want to actually get some uh, some gameplay in and, and get to a different part of Coastal Highway at least. Um, so probably let this one go to uh, more like 35. And I'm sure you can see that because you've already seen how long the episode is. But Just FYI, that's typically my rule of thumb. Oh wow. I can't see a damn thing. And how cold are we? 21. So we're not that cold. I hear bear crows. Do you hear those? Whenever you hear crows that sound a little bit more stressed out than the typical crows that are circling a corpse, that means um, the, the bear's probably not nearby, but that definitely changes my plans. I wish I had a book, man. We found books that are generic that we can't read, but we can use to start fires. But I don't have any books I can research with. Okay, so let's pass the time for... I hate to do it for this long but that's time for four hours. We're going to reduce our calories a good bit. We've burned through a lot of our food, too, but there's still plenty to be found. In early games of Stalker... Okay, good. That's the beginning of the day. In early oh, games of I Stalker... Anything yeah, right now. Right. Let's handle that. As long as you, as I mentioned... Ooh, yeah, there's these. Hmm. Never eat sardines. <laughs> Yeah, all right, 24% condition, we survived there. Actually, I think I hear some wind outside, so we may still have to stay put here. Coastal Highway is acting a little bit like, uh, like Pleasant Valley right now. Keeping me in one spot. But that does not sound like good weather. Oh no, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I'm sure it's cold as hell. Yeah, it feels like two degrees. But let's go ahead and get moving. See, there's the bear over there. And there's a wolf right there. Okay, there's two. Oh, hi. Oh, all righty. Let's, let's go this direction instead, shall we? Um, we're pretty encumbered, but not as encumbered as we were, but, um, what was I saying a moment ago? That's right, um, in early stalker difficulty, as long as you are, you know, kind of being nomadic, it's pretty easy to find a lot of food pretty quickly. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Gear. If you push yourself and explore and see what you can find, you know? Um, hang on, I'm gonna shimmy down. This is a little bit dangerous. But if you crouch, it's easier to kind of make your way down steep facings and sometimes do so without actually dropping off of them. I don't know if I'll be that lucky this time, but we're going to try it. 
There we go. Right, so we made it down. Right, I'm going to step back here, though, because there is a wolf right there. I feel like we're more encumbered than the game is letting on. Hang on. No, just two pounds encumbered. I just feel like I'm slowed down a lot, more than I would have expected. All right, so there's the wolves, and I can see the bear kind of in between them. Some deer over here. So yeah, we're going to head to this fishing hut really quickly, see if we can find anything. Then we're going to head over in that direction and see what the houses there have in store for us. And before I do any more repairs, I'm going to go through and actually see what I can find. Do some scavenging. Scavenge the Quonset, etc. So it looks like our normal house might be standing, or even the house next to it is standing. Yeah, that's the house next to it. Nice. I think this might be the first series of Against All Odds where that house has been standing. Maybe that means that our traditional house that I stay in is not. That would be an interesting mix-up. Alright, granola bar, water. Let's go ahead and take charcoal. Oh, wow, I started surveying at the same time as I was searching that. I wonder if that's intended. Okay. Alright, I think it got foggy while I was doing that. Alright, so that gave us the local area. So if we pull up navigation and open the map. <laughs> Didn't really show us that much. It's a big zone. All right, let's head this way. Straight this direction, see what we can find. How are we doing so far? Day four? There we go. Three days, one hours, one hour, 18 minutes. Yeah, we move through one whole day pretty quickly. Typically when I'm playing the Lawn Dark on this difficulty level, it's a pretty uncanny correlation. Well, correlation might be the wrong word, but... Um, no, no. Actually, correlation is the right word. Um, uh, ep the episode count is highly correlated with the... Um, with the number of days I've survived, usually. They're usually pretty close together. And they tend to progress at the same rate. Okay. I'm excited. Like, I, I can't remember the last time in a season of Against All Odds that this house was standing. That is unreal. Does that mean this one's burned down? No, they're both standing. Nice. There's a wolf right there, though. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just going to come over here and not bother you. Okay. Actually, out of curiosity, hang on. I wonder... Okay. I was wondering if you could rip the uh, the flag down for cloth, but you can't. Alright, so there's a fire log. Newsprint. Good for tinder. Alright, let's see what this house has in store for us. Great start. Love it. Alright, there's some cedar firewood there. Let's go ahead... Well, no, I'm going to pick up all the wood that I can, and we're going to walk around with it, because I'm going to set some stuff down in the Quonset when I can. I see some wool mittens. I'll take those. Hell yes. So those are definitely going to replace the other hand gear that I have on. And they're already almost better at their current level. If we repair them, they will be better than the gloves we had on. Let me show you how much better. 1.8 and 0.9 to 1.0 and 0.5. So again, this is warmth protection. This is wind protection. Now granted, these are lower condition, so if we repair them, these will be a little better, but I don't think they'll they'll really compare. Well, we'll I mean, I might try it. That actually looks like they might be close, but once we find fleece mittens, I think those are even better than wool mittens, and so those might be the ones we end up with. But for now, that's a pretty good find. Okay, dog food. Nothing. Nice. Banged up condensed milk. Banged up, that might mean pretty low condition though. Yeah, it is. Let me go ahead and eat that before it gets any lower. Condensed milk restores a little bit of thirst as well. There we go. Yummy. Condensed milk is actually a nice item to find. 750 calories in one go. Nope, already opened that. 
there's that. Actually, a little bit disappointed with after how much episode one spoiled me. I'm not finding much in this house. Maybe there'll be stuff in the bedroom though. We've already got one of the better needs this nice anymore. worn thermal underwear. We've already got one of the better upper torso items in the game. Let's go ahead and put this on. Now we're going to be the thing about playing on Stalker is that one problem we're going to run into very very quickly is the problem of being weighed down by the clothes we're wearing. We're not going to have a lot of room to carry additional stuff if we have a lot of layers on. Decent thick wool sweater. Ooh, okay, that could replace one of my items. I'll check in a second. Thick wool is always good. Okay, nothing there. Painkillers and Summit Soda. So here's some additional cloth if I want it. Let's go ahead and take the water out of here. So we've replenished our water supply, but again, we've also replenished our encumbrance, if that's a thing. All right, so this should be... I'm going to keep looking around before I repair, but I want to go ahead and have enough on me to get a lot of repairs done. I should have drank a soda first. That would have been a little smarter. Just so, oh, let's go ahead and get this too. Just grabbing some cloth while I can, because we do still have a lot of repairing to do on our best items. I don't want to have extra cloth, again, for uh, snow shelter purposes. Not that we're going to need it anytime soon, but good to have. All right, and let's keep moving. Which door did we come in? We came in the other one, so let's go out this one. Watch there be a wolf right outside. Knowing my luck. Crap. There actually is one. <laughs> okay, well, I don't, I just, I don't mind taking on wolves and stalker. Those of you who've been watching the channel for a long time know that, but I don't want to damage my clothes right now. I want to make sure that all of my stuff gets up to the right condition so we really feel like we're off to a good start in that regard. So I guess what I'll do for a bit is, um, is sleep here. And give that wolf a chance to bugger off. And I'm going to visit the normal, the house where I normally, you know, have my headquarters, which is the one, <laughs> I say headquarters, my base camp um, in Coastal Highway. And then we're going to visit the Quonset before I end the episode here. I feel like that wolf is still nearby. I still heard footsteps. The wolf can sometimes patrol up on that ridge above the houses there between the trees. And that is a bitch and a half when it happens because the wolf, you, you can very rarely see it from a distance. But it's just kind of, you're, you're walking around up there and all of a sudden a wolf is on top of you. It's not fun. So word of the wise. Let's step in here. Pinnacle peaches, not a bad find. Hey, lantern fuel, also not a bad find. Home sweet home. This is our, again, this is our more typical base camp. And against all odds, already went through that, right? Yeah, did. Wood, which I'm going to pick up too heavy to, carry. to the great detriment of my character's tiredness, but she's going to have to deal for now because we have a lot to carry around. Did I go through that? No, I didn't. Uh, ragged driving gloves. Okay, we'll probably just get some leather out of those. Like another sweatshirt on the bed. Leather shoes on the floor. 
more sports socks. I can break those down for cloth. So far, we've been breaking down curtains and towels for cloth, but, you know, given how much we've been finding... Oh, wow. Accelerant. Thermal underwear. Nice. Might be able to just... I've got three pairs of thermal underwear now, so I definitely need to get to the Quonset and set some stuff down. That's my absolute... Oh, another flare. In the sink, of all places. That's my absolute next destination. Even with this level of encumbrance. Let's qu quickly check to see if there's a better pair. Oh yeah, I can totally wear that. So, don't have to use cloth to repair that anymore. Not as much anyway. It's not the best underwear you can find in the game. You can actually find legit, like, long johns. And I think those are the best. I'm going to crouch here just to make sure, because remember what I was just saying about that wolf? I would... Yep. I just clicked out of the window again. Okay, let's... Sorry about that. I know that's... That was a little bit of a, a, a pause there, but... Uh, ever since I started playing with multiple monitors, that's a little bit of a risk, is that, you know, when you have that initial jump, if you click outside of the window... Um, hang on, I think there's actually a setting that I can change to, to make that not a thing. But... Let's see, controls, lock mouse to screen, locked. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, that won't happen anymore. I don't know why I changed that in the first place, but anyway. Um, so where else did we get hurt? Let's take a quick look. Sprained ankle from a wolf bite. I can take some uh, painkillers, which I just found. Thank you. All right, so a little bit to explain about what just happened. Uh, we obviously ha had the knife to fight the wolf off, and the knife is a weapon... Still running around out here. The knife is a puncture weapon. It's designed to lead to faster bleed-outs by inflicting deep wounds. Seriously? You know what? Fine. Just come here. I'm, I'm tired of you. I'll repair my clothes later. Hang on. Let's, let's test something else as well. I've got a number of flares. I want to see what it takes to scare this wolf off. All right, that didn't work. Sometimes, I think I have two wolves charging at me. No, no, puncture, thank you. I hear another wolf. This isn't good. All right. So yeah, that didn't go so well. Let's see. Don't know why I did that. That threw me off. Like, I was really nervous about that third wolf for a second. All right, so what are we looking at here? There's a lot of wolves in the area. A little bit more than I was expecting. I guess I'm used to playing on interloper difficulty. So, what am I looking at? All right, we got some more sprains. That's easily dealt with. I was going back out there because I want to get to the Quonset, but I also... Wanted to see if we can find that one wolf. So anyway, when you puncture the wolf with a knife, um, that is going to lead to... It's a normal length fight, but the wolf's bleed out will be faster. So both of those wolves are going to die in the area. I'll be able to skin them, get their coats and such, um, once I've killed some of the other wolves nearby. But I've got to recover some condition first, because we've just gotten our butts kicked a little bit. So let's drink some tea. This will improve our rest, give us better condition recovery. And there should be some wolf corpses in the area when we wake. So let me just go ahead and sleep for three hours. And I might have to fight some more wolves, because that was... That was a lot. I wouldn't have been so gung-ho with that second wolf if I had known there was a third one potentially about to charge me. Thankfully he didn't get to me, but we're also a good bit encumbered as well. Um, that's one thing that's affecting our success in the battle in the battles against the wolves, but we I need to carry all the stuff I'm carrying right now, because I'm trying to get to the damn Quonset, which is just across the way, but we're surrounded by wolves. All right, let me crouch. We're going to try this again. I hear footsteps. Yeah. You, 
hear that? That's a wolf, and probably close. So I'm going to go around a different way, because right now... What, what sucks is that since we weren't able... Since we had to rest and recover some condition, we're at 69%. Uh, really? Where are you? I have no idea where you are. Seriously, where are you, dude? I hear you, but... Screw it. I'm just going to go here. Wow, we are cornered as hell. And I want to get to the Quonset for you in this episode, so I'm a little bit frustrated right now because I'm dragging this out longer than I wanted to, given the fact that we're surrounded by wolves. I won't sleep for another hour. I just want to give the wolves the chance to patrol away. But again, we, we, we've lost the chance to track the wolves to their bodies, so we're going to have to just hunt them down, and their bodies do decay as well, so we don't have forever to find them. They'll last long enough for us to find them, I think, but... I just want to get across to the freaking Quonset, please. And this is exactly why I am considering... Actually, I'm considering putting my base camp here again. Because I, I feel like the Quonset... So we know there's still wolves in the area. This is why I'm considering putting my, my, my base um, not in the Quonset, in that, in that house again. Because, good lord. So yeah, I'm a little rattled at the moment on account of all these wolves. Are you serious? Holy crap! What is your deal? There's two. And I can't run either, so we're about to get into a dual fight here. Unless I use a flare again. Hang on. Let's try this. This is a little bit of long dark trivia. So, let's see. Let's back off. Kind of go this direction a little bit. Alright, so throwing it doesn't work at that range. Go away. All right, so we got some torn clothing, but it didn't actually hurt us. All right, so he's going to run around like an idiot. Clothing protected us pretty well otherwise. Let's try and get to the Quonset, because this is... This is insane. I've definitely had wolves gang up on me before, and in YouTube series, but I don't know that I've ever had it happen this early when we're just trying to do some of the basics, you know, to get started with the run, you know? So it's throwing me off a little bit. Alright, so let's head over this direction, and then I've got to cut this. Hey there. Didn't even see you. Still encumbered. Stuck against a damn fence. Thanks, fence. Appreciate that. All right, I'm backing off from this wolf wall strafing. I'm hoping I can get to the back door of the Quonset before he charges. Because I really don't want to deal with another wolf struggle. I don't. I don't want to repair my clothes anymore that I already have. I already spent so much of this episode repairing clothes. <laughs> Just trying to spend my time wisely. Yeah, we'll get inside. We're good. He might charge while we're going in, but... Okay. Jesus. On that note... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to explore what we have in the Quonset, which hopefully will be a lot. There's usually a good amount of uh, stuff to be found here. And I hopefully will find a pry bar here, too. That would be ideal. And then we will set down some of our inventory, make sure we're not encumbered as much anymore, set down the firewood we picked up, which is why we're encumbered. And then uh, we will have a little bit more luck, <laughs> hopefully fighting off large packs of wolves in the future. And we also need to go ahead and start looking for... Um, those corpses, because we've stabbed, I think, what, three or four wolves just now? At least three. So I've, I've lost track of how many wolves I just fought to get to this freaking place that's right across the street. But uh, now that we're here, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.